Hey everybody, in today's video we are going to replace the shifter U-joint that goes on the end of the shifter and interfaces with the transmission. I will put the part numbers in the next slide. I always pick up an extra nut and bolt and here's the spring pin, roll pin, actually two assemblies in one and here's the factory U-joint. Cartboy makes a replacement one but I figured for my car lasts 150, 60,000 miles, just go with this one. So let's get into it. with 177,000 miles I would say bushings are shot that's just left to right movement in the shifter now move it up and down a little bit so in order to get this joint off I'm going to undo the nut and bolt first to hold the shifter to the U-joint. Uh, the nut and bolt head are both 12 millimeters. If you don't have a little stubby box and wrench, you may have to drop this rear transmission cross member to get your ratchet up there, but I'm able to get in here with a box and wrench on top in my little stubby Now the fun part's going to be uh, getting that pin out. Let me get myself repositioned. You'll also have to take the front bushings off the stud as well. That's 12 millimeters, and you should be able to get to that with just a box and wrench to just to push it out of your way so we can get the bolt out of the U-joint up here. So we were able to uncouple the shifter from the U-joint, but we need to be able to drive that roll pin out that connects the U-joint to the transmission. And unfortunately, there's no way to get up in there with a hammer and a pin to drive it out without disconnecting your transmission cross member. So what I did was I pulled the back cross member, I pulled the bolts, I pulled the nuts for the actual transmission mount, and I pulled the two 17s on each side. I left the two front most 14s intact, and I just, kind of slid it out of the way. I supported the front of the transmission with a jack and this is now giving me full access to get up in here with a punch. I punched the inner pin out first and now I'm in the process of punching the outer pin out. So we got our old U-joint assembly out and you can see how much this is trashed. I wonder if it's because the oil's leaked on it for years and just eating the rubber away. Here's our new one. A lot stiffer. So let's work on getting this put back in. The new joint will get installed with this little eyelet facing down towards the transmission like this. I don't know if, what difference it makes. I think this used to have a spring return on it. They don't anymore. But this is the way I took it off. So that's the way I'll put the new one back on. So in order to install this roll pin, I took a smaller punch, put this in a vise, and drove the middle pin out so I'll install this one first, and then I'll install this one. So to get the new pin back in, if you can't reuse your old one, I put a taper on the top of the pin so it would go up in there easier. Then I took a small diameter screwdriver that the shaft was straight, stuck it on there like that. That way I was able to put the joint on, put this through the hole, and get it started enough. So once I got it started, I took a 3 8 extension, Stuck it on the bottom of that and, and tapped it up. You want a little bit protruding from the bottom side too because it's long enough that it's going to sit on the top and the bottom. So then now we get to put the middle pin in. So I'm going to do the same thing with the inner pin. I have this little, used to be a Torx driver that I ground down to a point for punches. I'm going to sit that 
on there like that and start driving it. So using the screwdriver method really seemed to help. Like I said, I just put that on there, slid it up there and started giving it a good cup, giving it a couple good taps and it's in there. It's not coming out now. So let's work on putting everything back together now. So the, the torque specs for both the joint and the front bushings are 13 foot-pounds. So you might as well see if you can hit those while you've got the transmission mount all the way and just start putting it back together. That way it's less hassle for you. When installing the fork back onto the U-joint, you may have to get a screwdriver and fiddle around with it and poke it around a little bit to get it started. 13 foot pounds isn't a whole lot, doesn't take a whole bunch. Once you get your mount reassembled, I get everything finger tight and, and at least flush with the frame. I let the tension off the transmission with the jack and then I start torquing everything. These front two bolts are 103 to 105, I just go to 105. The rear four mounting bolts are 51 and then any of these six bolts in here are only 26 foot pounds. You shouldn't have messed with these because we didn't need to, so we've only taken these four off. So these are 26 foot pounds. So once you get everything buttoned back up, we're in the car. This is how much play there is now. There's like no play. Nice and firm now. I guess after you drive it for a while, you don't really notice it until one day you wonder why it's got so much slop in it. So. That was about an hour and a half to two hours worth of work, mainly swearing, get that pin back in. Thanks for watching.